This is Fox 6 News. The big story at 5, the big travel day. The work week is over and the holiday is right around the corner. And all that stands in the way, for many at least, is a little bit of traffic. Fox 6's Chip Brewster is live at Mitchell International Airport. Chip, what are you seeing? Is it busy tonight? Uh, well, we're in the arrival section of the airport, and actually, plane just unloaded, so you're seeing some passengers that didn't necessarily have to put up with the traffic, but they're at the end of their long journey. And you know, according to AAA today, it's the official start for the whole holiday travel season, and they say it's going to be the second busiest one in the past decade. Whether by plane, train, or automobile. Oh, and don't forget the bus. Millions of Americans across the country are making their way home for the holidays. That's just a wonderful way to travel. It's kind of hassle-free. Richard Virgil is one of many passing through the Milwaukee Intermodal Station. The holiday train trip is a nearly 20-year tradition for his family. We started out in State College, Pennsylvania, came into Chicago, and uh, then came up on the Hiawatha to Milwaukee on our way to Algoma to see my 99-year-old father. My mom, my brothers and sisters, my dad. Taquania Hunt is taking the bus from Milwaukee down to see her family in Chicago. According to AAA, she joins Virgil and thousands of others making train and bus travel jump more than 4% over last year. I mean, for what I'm going to save in gas time and the possible road conditions is definitely worth it. We're great train advocates. Traveling by car also got a slight boost with a 2% increase. As for taking to the skies, AAA estimates air travel will be down by nearly 10%. And if you're planning a holiday trip this week, let me throw a few numbers at you so you know what you're up against. Nearly 92 million Americans are expected to travel 50 miles or more over the next 10 days. That's roughly one in three people. So here in Wisconsin, well, it's a little bit above average as far as the states go. They're looking at about 2 million travelers. So like every year, leave early and expect the worst in order to get where you're going on time. Live at Mitchell International, Chip Brewster, Fox 6 News. Chip, the real question is, the people you talked to, were the travelers in good spirits? Uh, festive is the way I would describe <laughs> it. There are a few delays as far as the planes go, and of course that always brings up some grumbles in the passengers, but these guys especially, you know, they're at the end of the trip, they're here, it's all over with, so they're definitely in a good mood. Awesome. All right. Good to know. Thanks, Chip. Trying to avoid those grumbles.